Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is May 29th, it's 4.15 in the morning. No, I haven't slept. Um, there's a lot going on. You know, if there wasn't a lot of things going on with Corona, with 40, I think it's 40 or 43 million people unemployed, which I still don't understand how there's out of every four people, one of them is unemployed in America and the stock market is still up. I don't get that. Like, and then, you know, coronavirus, coronavirus, 100,000 people were dead, which I heard that they thought it was going to be 2 million. So how did they think that? Like, was this planned? Literally, was this planned? No, honestly, I know I got the, the purple wig out of here. Did Bill Gates allegedly? Like, you, do you ever see Dr. Fauci? I haven't seen him. Where, where did he go? Did he disappear? Is he sick? And what about that other lady who looked like she aged 30 years in two months? What happened to them? Did they disappear? <laughs> okay. Let's talk about Trump. Because I just... <laughs> I don't get him. Trump is a mess. No, I'm talking about like now he wants to go against Twitter for fact finding, you know, some of his references or something like that. Like, no, Trump, hear me out. What, what, are you like the biggest gangster in America or the world? Like, are you trying to be up there allegedly with Putin, Vladimir Putin? What is it about you that you think that first, is your wife a mail order hooker or whatever, allegedly? That's what I heard, okay? So we have pictures of her in the nude. How you got elected with your wife, supposedly, allegedly a hooker, and you know, she has pictures in the nude, and it's her that you, you know, purchased her then you talk all this mess about him and then you know you screw up the whole economy just we got a hundred thousand people dead we have 43 million unemployed 43 million now didn't obama have to take care of all this mess didn't george bush like leave this country bankrupt and then Obama got in the office eight years, brought the country back up to par. I'm not saying that he was perfect. I'm just saying, you know, what he did in his tenure. And then in four years, okay, four years, Trump has literally destroyed the country, if not the world. But see, I don't know if it's just Trump alone. Was it Trump? Allegedly, allegedly. Was it Trump, Bill Gates, Dr. Fauci, you know, China? Oh, who? Who are the main characters in this debacle? Because this is just too much. Now you got, you know, the cops killing black men like, you know, you, okay, so you have the cops killing black men, but then you have the DAs, you know, the prosecutors who don't even want to prosecute them. Like, this is 2020, not 1872, not even 1658. This is 2020. We got Big Brother, we got Big Brother, we got cameras, we have things on tape we have killings you know with Aubrey with McMichaels literally killing that boy like he was game like they were shooting game in the in the forest in the woods you know how they go out and they shoot birds and wild boar or you know whatever elk and you know they cut off their heads or whatever so is, is this what is this what we're doing we have stuff on video proof we have proof the world saw that man on video hold his knee 
to the man on the ground. Why was the man on the ground? Okay, but as far as Ahmaud Arbery, we had Biden say, listen, something has to be done about this. Biden spoke, spoke up. Thank you. And I thanked him on a video. Now, Trump, you saw the man on the ground. You saw that cop, his co-worker, kill him in broad daylight in front of four, three other officers and witnesses. Trump, now this is where you separate the men from the boys. This is where you separate the good from the bad. Trump, where are your leadership qualities? If a president, if the governor, if the mayor, and the mayor has spoken out, stating that he needs to be arrested, but you're the president. You can find people at the bottom of the ocean. You have jur jurisdiction to press that red button and have any country in the world destroy you're telling me that you can't handle your own country and the cops that are under you that are subordinates and have that cop arrested no 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 and i understand there's local jurisdiction sorry i can't get that out. i don't know why maybe because it's work like the morning i haven't slept then there's the state government, and then, you know, there's the country government or whatever. So why does it take the government, state, local, state, local, or whatever country, whatever, I don't know why I can't think of that, so long to pr prosecute something on film, but yet the same man was arrested and treated like a damn animal because of a $20 fraudulent check. You got a whole city burnt down to the crisps because a yo cop killed a black man. It doesn't even matter if the man was black, blue, brown, red, pink, or burgundy. The fact that a cop, it doesn't matter if the cop was white, the fact is, is that the cop killed a man in broad daylight over 20 fucking dollars. $20! Didn't kill anyone. Didn't mistreat anyone. Didn't resist arrest nothing. Now, how is it that they arrested that man with no proof? Because no one called the cops on this man. The store never made called. So who called? Who called? I've already made a video about this. Trump, what are you going to do? Biden, what are you going to say? Obama, Oprah, um, whoever else, who? Pelosi. All of the mayors around the country need to pay attention to this. London Breed, Sam, Libby, all of them. The mayor in Atlanta, the mayor in D.C., the mayor in, I don't think, I don't, do, does D.C. DC have a mayor? I think they do. Yeah, they do. Um, every mayor in America should be on this. Every governor, all 50 governors, and the whoever the people are, the governors of the territories, you know, like Puerto Rico and whoever. Every senator, every congressman, they need to be on this. This is not... This is not going away. But what are you guys going to handle it? Like, there's somewhere, and I have many videos on it, where in the academies, it, who's giving the okay? Like, are the Ku Klux Klan really behind our government? Our, ju our du judicial system? Who? Because there's no way that... that it should take so long for someone to be indicted. When it was in plain view, it's on video. The mayor says that he needs to be arrested. Well, doesn't the mayor have more authority than the chief of police? Why isn't it happening? That's what I would like to know. Why isn't it happening that this man is still free? So Trump, I'm not, you know, why 
what's all this going on under your under your under your reign? Are you the gangster? Are you you know? Are you the Suge Knight of America or what? Are you the Vladimir Putin of the USA or what? Because all these other countries are laughing at you. Don't get me wrong. They've been laughing at you before you were elected. Like I said before your election, I did a 17 country run in Europe and every person who couldn't even speak English, but they knew your name and they laughed at you like you were a joke. Well, guess what? You're proving them right. So we only have, what, seven more months of you. And Lord, I don't know what's going to happen with, with Biden. I, I, I don't know. Is he here? Is he not here? Like, what's, what's going on? And why isn't he campaigning? But Trump, back to you. Why do you feel as if you don't need to wear a mask? You, Pence, you know, the last um, meeting that you had, no one had a mask on. What? <laughs> what? Thank you. Help me understand how we're going through a pandemic and 100,000 people have died and no one in your vicinity wears a mask. Help me understand that. Dr. Fuji, that other doctor, you know, Pence, you, like, I think the recorders, the, sorry, the reporters may wear, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. Like I said, I don't understand how certain people, it's mandatory for certain people to wear a mask, but it's not mandatory forever. Like, why are you going to the Ford plant wearing, not wearing a mask? What? You're the leader of our nation. Like, you have to set the precedent for all of us. So if you don't wear a mask, we shouldn't wear a mask. But we need to wear a mask because 100,000 people have died just of COVID-19. We're not talking about any other, any other deaths. And I, but I would like those numbers. How many deaths total from January to May, for the first five months? Total, COVID and other deaths. Because all I hear about are people dying of COVID. Now I've heard, I think there's three people that I know that have died, none of them from COVID-19. And I forgot to tell my friend to check their birth, uh, their death certificate to see what they're listing as their death. Like this is, is this how you're gonna go out? Really? You have Trump, you have COVID-19, like I said, 100,000 people have died you have 43 million people unemployed. You have America's burning. You have, you know, Minneapolis burnt down. Like, what else can happen? And do you really think that you're going to get reelected? Do you? Is Putin going to help you out again? Like, I just, I don't know. And then today, didn't you, like block Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, because he instituted mail-in and voting? Like, why? Why are you worried about the mail-in voting when you don't even wear a mask? You gotta, you gotta do better. I mean, listen, like I said, we have seven months. Seven months of you, if you want this win, what? You have five months to turn this around. I don't know who's in charge of all of these, you know, hideous disasters in America, but as the head man in charge, I was about to say the head nigga in charge, because you act like one. You need to fix this. 43 million people are out of work. You have restaurants going out of business. You have major department stores going out of business. You have airlines, I think, filing for bankruptcy. You have all kinds of people filing for bankruptcy. You have people losing their homes. You know, I know it's always darkest before the dawn, but damn, you know, it's the sun's not up yet. It's 4.30. Trump. 
It's 4.30 in the morning. That sun is about to rise. What are you going to do today that you didn't do yesterday that you haven't done tomorrow to make life in America better? What are you going to do to make life great in America? Make America great again. Because honestly, you're fucking it up. You're literally fucking it up. With, in the back with no Vaseline. None. Just straight. That Trump is a mess. I just, I don't even have the answers. I don't even, I don't have the suggestions. I mean, you got a whole plethora of people working for you. I, I know one thing, you need to get that cop in jail immediately. That's number one. Before you have your whole country just burned up. You're going to have a country burned up. You're going to have people dead, people unemployed, and ooh. You know, with all this, people's anxiety, their health, mentally, physically, you know, I'm 60 pounds overweight. It's just a mess. Like, we got to do better. Trump, you, you got to figure something out. I know you're stressed. But you know what? Like I said, this separates the men from the boys. Now, if you're a man, do something about this. And... Biden, I just, I don't know, we going from sugar to shit or shit to shitty or shit to diarrhea. Like, out of all those people on the platform six months ago, how in the hell did we end up with Biden, Joe Biden? Joe, did you ever take care of your uh, son? Did you send him somewhere or, you know, did you teach him right or whatever this is too much i gotta go it's i gotta go to bed bye